Welcome, welcome to the Ice Turner experience. It's something you can't define, but you can only experience this through me. And as of lately, I've been, uh, you know, able to not only, you know, reposition myself, you know, physically, but also mentally and spiritually. You know, it's a, it's a difference between, you know, being under the, the concept of change versus the awareness. And um, one thing I do notice is that the people, you know, outside of yourself are actually in the uh, awareness of your change. And um, you, you notice that based on how sensitive they become, you know, towards your behavior and, and, and conduct. It's like that whole crab in a barrel, you know, theory. You know, people will actually, you know, sacrifice a little bit that they have, you know, and go down as long as they bring you down with them. You know, it's, uh, it's interesting, you know, how life, you know, unfolds. But it would really cause me to um, be in the awareness of uh, my change and my uh, evolution was um, from a trade that I made. I actually had uh, earned, you know, 10K in two minutes. So, you know, just to simplify it, you know, life is not about, you know, people think that racism, you know, is, you know, predominant, you know, in certain aspects, you know, racism, race relations, you know, to a certain degree, but it's more so about classism classism is about stereotypical behavior and behavior is not so much just how you conduct yourself in society but how you conduct yourself with the time that you're given you know we all have 24 hours in a day it's all about what you do within those 24 hours that's you know imperative you know and the whole concept of the of the matrix what you know been popularly uh, quoted, you know, it's based on the behavior, you know, behavior will keep you in the matrix as well as, you know, certain behavior will uh, bring you out of the matrix because, you know, the matrix is, is you know, essentially it's, um, it, it's, you know, it's, it, it's a system, you know, with people that have socially engineered, you know, behavior to keep them, you know, enslaved, you know. You're basically socially conditioned by what people or what the, I would say, the, the, the dominant influence through media tells you who you are and tells you what's going on. You know, Donald Trump, uh, you know, always used to quote fake news. So, you know, a lot of it is basically removing your mind and body from the fake news and really figuring out things, really figuring out yourself, figuring out your life, you know, becoming a free thinker, you know. So you have to unthink and unbelieve what was, you know, told to you to really, you know, find your self your true self you know it even says that in scripture you know you have to really essentially lose yourself right to find yourself because you have to lose the socially engineered you know behavior you know habits thinking patterns you know, perceptions and be made anew I start noticing a lot of, um, you know, changes taking place. Just even, you know, how I handle my finances, how I handle my time. 
and just you know who I choose to uh, converse with you know because you know who you you know converse with really determines your uh, your lot in life you know just as you know as well as you know who you date you date you know certain type of people you know and then you know complain about the behavior but really it's just a reflection like if you're um, dealing with you know someone that's you know always begging always needs something always scheming always up to something it's um, a reflection of you essentially and you know a lot of people are in denial of that and the reason why that you can tell that they're in denial is because they keep participating you know with that uh, you know destruction you know once you really notice certain things once you know, you know something alarms your emotion that that isn't right you know within that uh, split micro decision right or that split micro uh, moment you have to make a decision on either continuing to go forward with that which really it, there's no such thing as going forward with that you're really going backwards or you know cut that off and move forward and if you look at you know certain animals like a, a, a reptile right they shed their skin it's kind of like with you know the socially engineered you know behavior you have to shed that skin because you know you're outgrowing that And, you know, what I've just noticed just within, you know, my world as of right now, it's not that I'm, I'm cutting people off. I'm, um, you know, ascending to a higher level within myself, uh, within my life. And people are just falling off by the wayside or people are making it mention you know, mentioning things to me in regards to, you know, or oh, I, I, I think that I'm better than them or I'm, you know, I've changed. You know, change is actually a good thing. You know, and people say that, you know, you, you remain the same person once you, you know, accumulate certain things, you know, you don't really change, you're the same person. Nah, you, you, you do change. You do change and how you want to uh, lead your life. And, you know, the people around you change because they become more aware of that change and they become sensitive towards it. You know. Now, you know, you become, you know, someone that is a uh, contributor of society, someone that's producing, someone that you know can add you know to an equation versus someone that just takes you know that whole race thing to me is is the uh an optical uh delusion now if you look at it if, if it weren't so like you look at you know magic johnson look at kobe bryant look at michael jordan uh, Look at Tiger Woods. You know, why are the race of people willing to invest, you know, into them? Now, people will say, well, you know, you know, their intentions are, well, okay, their intentions are one thing, right? But they're opening up a, a door and you just got to maneuver through that, you know? As, as, a, as, as a black man, you know, you really have to get past yourself first you have to get past your own you know your your self-defeated memory first then your naivete then you gotta maneuver around you know you know other people that you know um, have the same skin color as you but haven't done that yet and don't really care to do that yet and are not really willing to put the work in it's kind of like the movie um, Catch Me While You Can, the scene uh, where Charlie Scene Sr. was um, talking to Leonardo DiCaprio about the, the, the two mice in the bucket of cream. You know, how they were fighting to get out the bucket. The first one gave up. 
and decided to just drown the second one kept fighting and got out of the bucket of cream you know that's essentially what you know getting out of enslavement or getting out of the matrix or getting out of the delusion that there is you know uh racism running things because you gotta look at like this racism is a is a billion dollar industry it's, a, it's an attitude you know it's a state of mind it, you know racism you know changes policies it changes the stock market what you know the you know the the atypical uh you know black man or black woman deal with um is classism or prejudices based on you know stereotypical behavior that is socially engineered that means you're not smart enough to think outside of that and you know people have the right to punish you for it you only suffer when you're slothful and when you're too lazy to think outside of that and um, lack the um, the courage to uh, come from that you know it even says that in, in, in scripture he says you know to separate yourself you know to separate yourself from 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 the behavior you know and conduct yourself this way you know in order to basically be successful you have to think feel behave this way in order for me to bless you you know simplified once I really understood the, 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 um, what the intent of the author is saying in the book, then I really got it. You know, it's the purpose of how you read a book. You want to read the intent of the author. You know, you want to get into the table of contents. You want to get an idea of what they're trying to convey. You know, you know the better that you can read a book, the better you can read people. You know, readers... Our leaders you know I've read you know well over 500 books but I've read every person that you know has uh, came across my path really well so what you really need to do is to actually spend that good quality time with yourself and think about your own thoughts and think about your own behavior and then think about time and see exactly where you would like to be and see exactly what you would like to do with your time and then once you know you discover that you just keep pressing forward you know you, you work hard to work smart 